Hi, my name is Jemima and this is my hashtag voices for FND video. FND stands for Functional Neurological Disorder and that's where the messages to and from the brain get mixed up and the brain just can't process them properly and so it results in a varied range of symptoms. Um, it's usually caused by a physical or psychological trauma or in some cases there isn't a cause at all, it just happens. Um, my FND started in 2012 when I was 15 and um, it began with pains in my knees and then quite soon after spread to different areas. Um, I originally was diagnosed with growing pains and then arthritis and then they got very confused and I had lots of tests and scans and every test and scan that I had came up saying that I was fine, I was perfectly healthy, there was nothing showing despite the fact that I was presenting with all of these symptoms. Um, I was told a lot of the time that I was either making it up or that it was psychological or that it wasn't really happening and I needed to stop exaggerating and it was quite hard to hear those words from medical professionals, from teachers, from people that were supposed to be there to help me. Um, eventually after three years I got a diagnosis of FND and was told that I was going to be referred to a specialist. And after four years of FND, I began to have treatment um, where I learned how to retrain my brain best I can, where I learned to manage my symptoms and learn about pacing so I don't overdo it. Um, and that's how it's going to be for the rest of my life. It's going to be a case of managing my symptoms rather than trying to cure them. There is no cure for FND. Some people's symptoms improve and some people's stay the same. Um, but there isn't that much support out there. There isn't many services to help people with FND. I'm based in Yorkshire and I have to travel to London just to see a physiotherapist that specialises in FND. So you can get a grasp of it there about how limited the resources are. Um, my main symptoms of FND are chronic pain, um, chronic fatigue sy syndrome or ME, um, dystonia, so abnormal sp muscle spasms. It affects my speech as you can probably tell. Um, it also causes non-epileptic seizures, uh, temporary paralysis and memory loss and confusion. Um, I have all of those symptoms on a day-to-day -day basis and I will have them either all at the same time or sort of varying one symptom to another. But I always have chronic fatigue and I always have chronic pain. Um, I need to stress that the, the chronic fatigue and pain is not just feeling tired or just having a bit of a sore area, it's more like having a really extreme version of the flu, everything is exhausting. I have to some days decide whether I eat or whether I have a shower, I have to decide how much energy I put into each activity and a lot of the time I physically cannot understand what people are saying to me or I cannot read something or you know it's everything is exhausting, everything hurts and painkillers don't touch it, I'm actually immune to painkillers now um, because I was on such high doses for such a long time at the start um, so it's not something that can just be fixed with a paracetamol or an app you know it's a lot more extreme than that um, I also have muscle weakness and so I use um, walking sticks and a wheelchair um, I can't stand up without an aid, I can't walk without an aid um, and so I spend a lot of my time outside of the house in my wheelchair and any short distances I'm on my crutches, for my, on my walking sticks. Um, but one of the things that I've learned through having FND is you have to learn to put the negatives into positives. You have to find a way forwards. And for me that has been focusing on tiny positives from each day. At the end of each day I will look back and think what made me smile that day, what made me feel happy or feel like I achieved something and it can be something big like I went horse riding or I went to my wheelchair rugby team or it can be something small like I read a page in a book or I managed to wash my hair or you know I had a proper meal. It can be the tiniest of things but anything that made me smile that day I focus on it and this is what I say to my friends who have FND or people that I help is that focus on those positives. It doesn't have to be a negative, it doesn't have to take over your life. It can be part of your life, but it doesn't have to be your life. Um, 
and so it's so important that people focus on that that yes I'm disabled yes I'm in a wheelchair but that does not mean I can't do things that does not mean I cannot have a successful and fulfilled life that does not mean I'm not capable I just have to do things at a slower pace I just have to take my time I have to do things slightly differently I have to adapt um, the final thing I want to talk about and I cannot stress this enough is the awareness day 25th of March um, in the UK and it is such an important day because if more people were aware of FND, if more doctors were aware of FND, just the general public, people wouldn't have to wait three years to be diagnosed, they wouldn't spend all that time not knowing what was wrong with them, not knowing how to manage the symptoms and so it's so important that we can get more people aware and get people learning about these conditions and learning about the symptoms so that people can get the right help they need and the right support. FND is a debilitating condition and it affects so many people and nobody knows about it. So let's get that awareness out there. Let's help these people that are suffering, not just me, but all of my friends that have it, all the people worldwide that have FND. Let's get them the support they need that they're entitled to. So please share this video, tell people about FND, share lots of the different posts that I'll be doing and across the different websites that I'll be sharing and please please help me get these people the help they need not just people like me but all of the other people please help thank you